Kabimaru gets permission from Sagiri to team up with Kunoichi and Asaimons. However, he still doesn't trust Yuzuriha and pins her again, but she uses a leg lock to trap him. She explains that the Shogun grants a pardon only to one person. Kunoichi offers him to use each other until they find the elixir of life for the Shogun. In exchange for his power, Yuzuriha offers Gabimaru very valuable information about creatures from this island. She killed the criminal Maki Amaro and used him as a bait to test the behavior of various local insects. Santa doubts that they are in real paradise, because the island's monsters and statues look like a strange mix of different religious traditions. Gabimaru wonders why Yuzuriha wants to return home so badly. She confesses that she became the Kunoichi in order to get money for her little sister, who had an incurable disease. However, Gabimaru exposes her lies and discovers the truth, that she simply wants to stay alive. In a short flashback we can see Moro blooming with flowers upon his death. It means that he was already dead when Yuzuriha killed him. In the present Gabimaru agrees to cooperate with Yuzuriha and shows her that he has a wife. Beautiful Kunoichi stops Santa from sharing more information. Sagiri feels disappointed with herself and suddenly faints. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for videos like this. Please comment this video and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.